Today, it is common knowledge amongst Muslims that the Quran combined with the Hadiths describe the appearance of a prominent Islamic leader who will make himself known to the world at the end of this age. This character is called the Islamic Mahdi. If you watch my other videos, I have provided strong evidence which proves that this man is none other than the ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. According to the Quran and Hadiths, shortly after the appearance of the Mahdi, the world will then witness the arrival of the Islamic Jesus, known as Isa, who will gracefully descend from the sky over the minaret of a mosque located in Damascus, Syria, whilst clutching onto the wings of two angels. This is confirmed in the following Islamic Hadith verses. The promised Mahdi will be of my family. Ibn Majah Sahih, Volume 2, page 519. And the Prophet Muhammad said, This world will not pass away until the Arabs are ruled by a man of my family, whose name will be the same as mine. Abu Dawood, Book 36, Number 4269. Isa, son of Mary, will then descend from heaven over the white minaret to the east of Damascus. Sahih al Albani. Sunnah Abi Dawood, 4321, Book 38, Hadith 4307. Muslims believe that Isa's descent from heaven will be accomplished by resting his hands on the wings of two angels. He will then descend onto the white minaret, situated in the eastern part of Damascus. He will invite the whole world to be Muslim, including Christians and Jews. Maududi, AA, Finality of Prophethood, pp. 58 to 61, and volume 18. Hadith number 814. I heard Muhammad, the messenger of Allah, say, Isa, the son of Mary, will then descend from heaven, and the Mahdi will invite him to come and lead the people in prayer. But Isa would say, No, some amongst you are commanders over the others amongst you. This honour from Allah belongs to the Mahdi. Sahih Muslim Hadith 293 Narrated by Jabir ibn Abdullah According to further Islamic verses, we are also provided with a physical description of Isa who is portrayed as being very western looking in his appearance, with a whitish red facial complexion, along with the possibility of having blonde hair. This is somewhat vaguely similar to the man shown in this photo. The hadiths explain that he will be accompanied by two angels, or winged men, like the ones pictured. Please note that I have used ancient Sumerian depictions of angels here. 
because Isa is clearly not the real Jesus Christ, then it would be safe to assume that his winged companions will definitely not be angels of God. Either they are demonic spirits or real flesh and blood men wearing artificial flight suits of some advanced technology. Notice the missile turrets protruding from the tops of the wings. Bearing in mind the Old Testament descriptions of the fallen angels, I suspect that Isa's two companions may be men of immense height and stature. This is all confirmed in the following hadith verses. Muhammad, the Apostle of Allah, was taken on a night journey where he met Jesus who appeared to have a medium stature with a red face complexion as if he had just come out of the bath. Sahih Muslim Book 001 Number 0322 Muhammad described how on the night that he ascended to heaven he saw Jesus who was of average height with a red face as if he had just come out of a bathroom. Sahih Bukhari Volume 4 Book 55 Number 607 Muhammad the Apostle of Allah said I saw myself in a dream near the car bar last night. There I saw a man with a whitish red complexion. The best you may see amongst men of that complexion. He had beautiful long hair reaching down to his earlobes. I noticed that he was combing his hair and water was dropping from it. He was performing the Tawaf by circling the Kaaba. While he was leaning on two men, or on the shoulders of two men, I asked, Who is this man? Somebody replied, He is the Messiah, son of Mary. Sahih Buhari, Volume 9 Book 87, number 128. Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, said, While I was sleeping, in a dream I saw myself performing the Tawaf of the Kaaba. There I saw a wheatish coloured, lank haired man holding himself up between two men. He had water dripping from his hair. I asked, Who is this? The people replied, He is the son of Mary. Buhari Kitab Bal Tabir Hadith 6508 The Prophet Muhammad said, On the night of my ascension to heaven, there I saw Jesus. He was a man of medium height, with a moderate complexion of red and white colours. I noticed that he had lank hair. Bukhari, Kital Bulbad, Al Kalk, Hadith 3000. When Jesus descends to the earth, you will recognise him as a man of medium height, with a reddish fair appearance. He will be wearing two light yellow garments, with drops of water falling from his head, though it will not be wet. 
Sunan Abu Dawood, Book 37, Number 4310. At that time, Allah will send Jesus, son of Mary. He will descend from heaven over the white minaret in the eastern side of Damascus, wearing two garments lightly dyed with saffron. His hands will be resting on the wings of two angels. When he lowers his head, beads of sweat will run down it, and when he raises up his head, beads similar to pearls would scatter from it in every direction. His breath will kill any non-believer who inhales the odour. It will reach as far as he can see. Sahih Muslim Book 041 Hadith number 7015